What's happening, Capital Extra Breakfast? You're locked in right now. Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie, making sure your morning starts with nothing but good vibes. We are buzzing because right now we are joined by a Grammy nominated rap and RB hit maker. Holding down the scene for it's 10 years plus at least right now. You might know the songs like Don't, Inhale, Blame, Exchange, and so many more. He's here in the UK right now doing his long awaited tour with two more nights at London's OVO Arena in Wembley. In the studio right now, it's Bryson Tiller, everybody! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Big Bryson. Yes, sir. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. We were talking before you came in here. Uh -huh. And we were saying, like, do you know how much people's lives you've actually touched? Like, you know how much of a big deal you actually are, bro? I didn't until them London, them, uh, London shows sold out. I ain't going to lie. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it was gonna, London was coming like that. <laughs> um, so you, I'm um, going to say, I think it's fair to say you are a bit of a UK resident. You've been here for a little while. You've been doing your thing. Mm -hmm. What have you learned about the UK this time around? Last time, you said that they showed you so much love on your club night. What have you learned this time around? I learned that Birmingham is, is, is lit. Don't sleep on Birmingham. Mm. Um, Birmingham. <laughs> you know um, but yeah, no, nah, I learned that. And uh, definitely one of my favorite cities in the UK now, for sure. Have you written any songs in London? I did get inspired. I was listening to a lot of Slum Village last time I was here. That inspired my mixtape. Um, I made a mixtape called Slum Tiller. Um, and I always tell people Slum Tiller was born in London. That's like an alter ego of mine where I'm just kind of like, like I say whatever the hell I want. You know, and there's no filter whatsoever. Kid, we'll claim whatever she wants for London. Yeah, yeah? we'll claim that. We'll claim we'll that. that. We'll Thank claim you, that London. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bryson. <laughs> All right, your self-titled album is out now. Congratulations. We Thank love you. it. Do you find it difficult to merge all of your worlds and the things you're influenced by it, or do you find it easy just to go track by track? There was so much more that we wanted to do. And um, that we... No, there was so much more that we actually did, but we couldn't get the samples cleared. So it was like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, but we still gave the fans, you know, some of those songs, like... On SoundCloud and whatnot, and I'm sure we got a couple. We got a couple other joints that you know, maybe like five or six joints that nobody ever heard. Um, but no, it was it was difficult for that reason. Other than that, it was pretty easy, man. You know, I knew that there was specific uh, there was specific types of songs that I wanted to make for the album. Um, made them. I, I said that I wanted to make a song with no auto tune, and Eon Lust is one of the songs. Is the song that I made with no auto tune. I said I wanted to make a a uh, a ballad a pop ballad and then undertow came about um i said i wanted to make a, a lusty r&b song and attention came about and i wanted to make something that was turned for the clubs and uh you know whatever she wants was never supposed to be on the album um just because i wanted to keep it mostly mostly r&b uh but um it worked you know what i mean because you know it, it, it the pro the project and the album is about versatility. And do you have any like favorite memories from making the album that we would never have seen, or Ab them behind the scene moments that we would never get a window into? Absolutely, my me and my brothers, uh, we call it we call this creative group that we formed, uh, Voltron. Voltron is like a a popular uh, anime TV series um, where you know five, I think it's five individuals that come together. It's kind of like the Megazord and, and Power Rangers, like one leg. Somebody's operating one leg, somebody's yeah. operating another leg, arm, arm, head, <laughs> body. And we all just came together and just made one um, one, one song, you know what I mean? Not one song, but multiple songs that we just kind of like worked on the, the whole project and, you know, listened to the songs. And I told them I'd never done nothing like that before. Like, I've, I'm so used to doing everything by myself, and I've been doing everything by myself since the beginning. Um, but I knew for this album, even though it's called Bryson, the, you know, the Bryson Tiller album, I was like, I don't want to do this one by myself. I feel like I'd be doing myself a disservice if I if I did, and um, yeah, it's time to you know, music is a, is a it should be anyway, but it's a collaborative thing. You know, some of the best songs that were ever made were all uh, collaborations, and I felt like it was important for me to you know do that for the first time. Before we get into whatever she wants on Capital Extra for breakfast, can you do us a favor, Bryson Tiller? Can and you give us the uh, bougie line to Rodeo, please, in that camera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a bougie. To Rodeo in and let her pick up whatever she, mm, she, she yeah that's it Jeez. <laughs> all right how does it feel to be on so many iconic collaborations of yourself so you've got like insecure you and jasmine and then wild thoughts obviously yeah. playing games with someone like how does it feel being on such iconic tracks feels great man i really love to collaborate with black women black women they, they just make some amazing music and you know they always think of me um, whenever it's time, you know, I don't say always, but, you know, <laughs> I would say that they keep me in mind when it's time to make something special. 
And um, I just appreciate them for, for calling me to make those songs. All of them reached out to me, Jasmine. Um, uh, Wild Thoughts was a, was a DJ uh, Khaled production for sure. Um, but Rihanna was excited to have me on the song. Summer Walker reached out to me for playing games. Same with her. It could have been. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to extend the catalog and just keep keep going, man. So and not even just black women, of course, but just women, period. I love women in music. Um, I love to collaborate with them. You mentioned a little earlier that that's what you're looking forward to in terms of music, like next steps for you. Who is it that you want to collaborate with next or who is it that you are ready to work with in the future? We in UK, so I'm going to go ahead and shout out LMA. Me and LMA still don't got one. We, we, we really need one, me and her, for sure. Something, something dope. Um, I say LMA. Uh, who else? Um, you guys know Tamara? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Tamara. She's so amazing. Um, I want to do something with her for sure. Um, I really just really want to collaborate with uh, with everybody if possible. I know that can be a bit unrealistic, but like, you know, I think there's a song for me and everybody. You know, anybody who's uh, inspired by my talent or anybody who likes my music. You know, we might not be able to do 20 songs or 30 songs, but, you know, I know we could at least get one in, you know. You mentioned this briefly, yeah. Have a listen to this. Probably gonna be my last one for a minute. I just want to take a hiatus because uh, my number one passion is uh, video games. How are you going to balance the both between going into video games and music? What's the plan for you? Um, it's different because it's like collaborating is so easy. Um, I don't have to do much. You know, they send me the songs or I get in the studio with them and make a song and it's not 100% me. Yeah, it's easier when I'm doing features because it's just like, you know, that's every now and then with an album. It takes so much of my energy and um, I'm just tired of giving my energy to music. The video games then? So, talk mm -hmm. to us about that. What is the plan for Bryson Tiller and game design video games? Get an internship somewhere. Um, obviously, I have my own company. And, um, well, that's not that obvious, but I started my own company. And I've been designing my first video game for the past three years. I'm really excited about it. Really uh, excited to share it with the world. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just want to go and just, just try to soak in as much knowledge as I can. I have a lot of friends in the gaming industry. And, um in the game industry and um, yeah there's, there's a lot to learn so shall we put 60 seconds on the clock Shayna Marie yeah let's do it we're going to ask you some questions you've got a minute on the clock it's quick fire style answer the first thing that comes into your head alright alright 60 Bryce seconds is, he's stretching he's ready you know <laughs> let's do it 6 seconds with Bryson Tiller in 3, 2, 1 who would play you in a film of your life Ah, uh, dang, I just <laughs> had the answer to this question not too long ago I'll probably pick my boy Keep Powers just cause oh nice biggest pinch me moment of your career Pinch me moment, uh, being in a room with Kanye West, Rihanna, Drake at the same time. What one song that isn't yours do you wish was yours? Uh, Baby Shark. <laughs> the money's long. You know, <laughs> Baby Shark. What video game could you play straight for five hours? Apex Legends, easy. Who was the last person that you texted and what did you say? Uh, my homegirl Juicy Fruit. We got a, a song coming out this Friday um, called Really Like That. How did having daughters change your life? I'm a better man overall, and uh, I care more about women and how they navigate life. What's the best thing about being a dad? Having somebody who depends on you, no matter what. Like, they need you. If you were a straight dancehall artist, what would your first single be called? It would be yeah. called Calypso, because I already got that, you know? If studio was closed and you had no electricity, so you couldn't play any video games, what's the first thing you're going to do? No movies either? Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no electricity. <laughs> I'm probably going to go to the beach last question what are you most grateful for right now uh i'm just grateful that i get to breathe oxygen every two seconds you know <laughs> and keep doing it every day and i'm breathing while i'm asleep like that's so amazing like we take that for granted like we're like <sighs> <laughs> and yeah. breathe that was 60 <laughs> seconds of pressing <laughs> So whilst you're here in the UK, we want to have some fun with you this morning and play a little game that we call It's All In The Lyric. So basically, we've got some R&B songs for you nice. and the answer to each song is all in the lyric. Give me an example. Ashanti wasn't always there when you called, but what was she? She was always on time. Come on, there you go. There you, go. you got yeah. it, you got okay. it. Okay. You ready? All yeah. right, let's go. First question. Scissor's man was her man Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So what did she do during the weekend? She kept them satisfied. She <laughs> yeah. Next question. Keisha Cole used to think she wasn't fine enough. What else did she think she wasn't? Wild enough? Uh, two for two. Yeah, yes, uh, two for two. All right, next one. Before you try again, what should Aaliyah 
What does Aaliyah say you should do? She needs to dust herself off. Three for three right now. I'm not trying to put no pressure on it, but no one's gone five for five. I'm just letting you, put, you, you know. put pressure on it. Is that pressure? You did it. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Next question. What could an SWV explain? Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second, because I know this. <laughs> Okay. The love and that makes them weak. I know you can give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we give yeah. you that. We give you that one. Yeah, yeah. We can give you that one. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it was there. It was yeah, there. It was there. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. All right. Final one. Uh, we are going five for five, Bryce and Tiller, with it's all in the lyric. Summer Walker said, If you claim you want her, what should you do? Oh, uh, damn. I know this song because I'm featured on it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. But I just can't put the, together the answer. You said, if you claim you want me, it ain't no thing. It is a, it is a little bit of a hard one. If you claim you want me, do I got to go before that lyric? Say her name. <laughs> you felt the pressure on that Jesus. last one, didn't you? <laughs> Summer, I almost let you down, baby. But. Five for five, Bryce and Tiller. Well done. Well First done. ever Captain X Breakfast History. You are top of the leaderboard. Well done, Bryce and Tiller. Yeah. Thank you very much for passing through today. Before you go, what are the rest of the plans for this year? What are you saying? What can we expect? Look out for some features, some features from Bryson Tiller. Um, yeah, I'm just showing some love to my fellow artists, anybody who uh, want me on a song or whatnot, trying to do as much as I can. Um, you know, you'll be hearing more about my video game this year for sure. And uh, I'll be touring all year. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to touch some countries I've never been to. I've never been to Asia. Uh, I've never been to South America. And I'm trying to go back to the, to the motherland. Well, two more nights in London, and then we go Asia, and then we go motherland, and we go around the world for Bryson Tiller. Come on. It's back been to London. Back, back to, to London. London. This is where it starts. This is the home. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time in the UK. Let's give it up one last time for Bryson Tiller. Woo! Thank you, guys. Big Bryson. <laughs>